guys, it's Saturday morning. I just got gas, as you saw. I have, like, my hair, I still look like a potato, but today I'm de-potatoing. Can that be, like, the new word when you, like, finally make yourself look good? Today's my glow-up day. I'm de-potatoing today. It's gonna be great. Um, as you know, I didn't get a blood this week, so my hair is so greasy. Like, it's actually, like, <laughs> like now you guys can't even say it looks good because, like, I was FaceTiming my mom, and she was like, what's with your hair? And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, have you washed that? And I was like, okay, same. But, um, oh, green line, what the fuck is Okay, but, okay, biker, I literally, bikers scare the absolute shit out of me. Like, the other day, I don't know if I should be admitting this to you, but Noel and I were going to go get food super late. Super late in my time, it's like 8, okay? Um, literally, it was like dark, and there was this biker, and he didn't have a light on or anything, like, and he was wearing dark clothes, so you genuinely, like, could not see him. Like, there was no way, and, like, literally, I raked like this close to him and it was like okay well get a light like you literally could not see him it's not like I wasn't paying attention like I was clearly looking at the road you know what I mean so I don't know shoddy but basically I'm getting my blah blah finally today finally guys you're welcome I'm sorry we had to look at like I, I love how I start off vlogmas like looking ugly like it's really it's it's really a great vibe <laughs> but it's okay um I also like so basically I always have this issue of Sometimes I need to be out of the apartment really early in the morning for like an appointment or something like that, which I'll explain in a second. I'm also going to Starbucks right now through the drive-thru to get that mango, black, whatever iced tea. That shit was lit. Um, I just stopped swearing. I've noticed I started swearing more. I don't know, like, have I gotten more aggressive? I don't really know. I normally don't swear this much. Mm, interesting. My, my, my dad hates when I swear. Where the line is so long. I think I'm gonna wait in it anyway. I'm gonna see what the traffic is like. I'm going to my hypnotherapy appointment. Um, I've talked about it before, but I go to a hypnotherapist. It's really great. I'll, I'll link the vlog where I explain it, but I'm on like literally my what, 15th or 16th session with her. It's amazing. I just need to see like what the traffic is like because to see if I can get the Starbucks. I mean, I'm gonna kind of get it regardless because I really want to, but I just want to make sure it's not like insane. All right, this truck is like shoddy. Like, where do you think you're going? Like, really though. Let's see what it is. Let's see what the traffic is. Oh no, Honey Bun can make it. I can make it. Okay. But um, I always feel like so awkward and like people stare at you through your car. Didn't I say this in yesterday's vlog? I hate people stare at you. Ugh. But. I forgot what I was saying, I'm, I don't even know, like this man is like just like awkwardly really looking at me and I'm talking so it's making it more awkward, it's just like a very uncomfortable experience. Um, also, oh my gosh, today like, in, I was like in the elevator of my building going to my parking and like literally there's like these two super like trendy little stylish guys, like they're, I don't know, they're dressed like really cute, like this one guy was wearing like a Versace top and it was just like cute, they were just like, you could tell they're like fashion guys and they were like, I was wearing like my crossbody Gucci bag and they're like, I love the Gucci and I was like, thanks. And I like look so gross, like I don't have like half my makeup on which I'll explain. So basically, a lot of times I have to leave my apartment super quickly in the morning to make an appointment so I don't have time to sit and do a full glam of face and I don't want to rush it and make it look shitty because then... Not only is it shitty for later if I have to film, which today is I have to film, and then on top of that, like, it's like, I rushed it, and then it looks bad, and then it's gonna look really gross by the time I have to film, so I, like, life hack, I do half my face, I just do my face makeup, because I've noticed that, like, looks better longer, I don't know, and it's easier to touch up, like, I can just, sir, um, I can just powder it really lightly, spray some Mario Badescu, and, like, I look good, you know what I mean? But, like, have you noticed, like, eye makeup after, like, six hours? Ugh, it's ratchet, so... That's why I have on like half my, I only have on my face makeup and my like eyebrows and I have on a little bit of chapstick but it has like concealer on it from, from like on how my foundation to wipe that off so I don't have chapstick on but whatever. I'm in the Starbucks um, drive through. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get that mango passion iced tea but oh yeah, today I'm going to my hypnotherapist right now. And I have to like watch the time when I'm there. I never really watch the time when I'm there because we just kind of like talk and like she gives me like a lot of like, I don't know, we check, she goes to a lot of seminars and so she brings up really cool examples and really like I read a lot of, like you guys know, a lot of books on like self growth and things like that and she's read a lot of the same ones. It's interesting because we'll start talking about like a certain theory and she'll be like, oh my gosh, you, you read this book, right? Because th the way you're talking, like it's reflecting this perspective and I don't know. So it's just like really great. 
I don't know, I love going. It's just like you get, I gain like such a new perspective on something, like completely different way of looking at something. And then it's just like so great to talk and like explain like, I, I'm such, you know, I'm a, I'm a Gemini. Like I love talking. I literally, these vlogs are just so long. I talk to you guys so much. I talk to, if you're one of my friends, you know, I probably text, I love texting. I love talking on the phone. I love talking like so much. I love doing presentations too. Like I used to be really scared and have anxiety, but now I love doing like presentations in school. Like <laughs> I don't know, I love it because like I just love explaining things. Like I had um, so one of my upper division classes is like we do this consulting project where you would pick a brand. It was like the biggest project of the year. We worked like four months on it. You pick a brand that you'd kind of want to that had like a PR issue almost and she explained like what you're gonna do to change them so I picked Abercrombie and Fitch I don't know if you guys know but the CEO a few years back said some like really disgusting stuff he was like our clothes are only for skinny hot people like skinny beautiful people like we don't want fat people wearing our clothes like he straight up said that which really I mean obviously like Abercrombie isn't that like that fucking trendy in general but like that kind of ruined the population that was buying it already and so I had to do like this whole presentation of like all this research um, and data and stats and explaining like how we'll rebrand like the different assets and like um, what, how we'll redo the sizing and, and who I would pick as a new CEO and like this really in-depth <laughs> thorough thorough project which is so great to research and I have like the whole like almost like business plan for them for that and it was really great and like I just love talking about it my professor loved it one of my a part of my project was to do pop-up shops um, and like they would rebrand with like a um, a new fitness line that would kind of resemble Lululemon like I, I even created like a mood board for it it was like a really fun project like I love classes where it's like applicable like I think like for me I th well if you don't know what consulting is it's basically like people usually they usually have a master's in, in like business or a certain aspect and are like kind of professionals in like a certain field and companies will hire them to like fix things so if you're like a PR consultant uh, if a company's having a really big crisis they'll hire you to fix it and consultants get paid a lot more than like if you were just working for the company I mean I'm sure some of you who are in college know what that is but I'm just explaining it for those who are younger if you guys are in college and you also want to explain in the comments what consulting is feel free both my parents are actually consultants but um it's really but you don't like work permanently for the brand that makes sense like you'll work you just, it's a year I think I think it's actually a lot that you can't work more for, for a year like cons consecutively um but that that's why so then you kind of have to go to something else um but yeah, so it was a really cool project and it kind of like sparked my interest like later in life. Um, obviously I'm gonna do YouTube for as long as possible and I this is just like so fun for me, but I obviously will like branch out from here and do other things. I think that consulting is something I'm really interested in and I think it's so cool and I just like, especially PR, it would be probably I'd do PR consulting if I ever did it. Um, people ask me about that, they're like, oh, what do you wanna do? And like whatever, like YouTube is like my full-time thing and I love it and like it's like literally, for me like I would wanna build my own brand. So obviously like YouTube is part of it. I wanna like do more later in life. Like it's just obviously a little hard to do all the stuff I wanna do right now as I'm in college, but within the next like few years, there's like so many ideas I have in the works for really cool stuff that I'm just super, 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 super excited about. But I don't know, that project like really sparked this like interest in me, like I worked so long on it and I don't know, my professor talked to me after class about it and he was like, this is like the best I've ever seen. Like this is honestly like, there was a few things this would honestly be like submittable submittable as a business plan all this stuff and like it was really cool and I had to do like projected sales and I don't know I'm like I got me to deal my portfolio um I don't know and you guys always a lot of I'm just I'm just explaining this because a lot of you ask about like they're like oh my god like school like what what, what are you studying like why like what is community uh, people who aren't uh, if you're in college I feel like you guys know what comm studies is or if you're out of college but a lot of people who are younger like you guys who are like in high school things like that ask me like what that is so it's, it's kind of it's a very open major like people from from comm like some people go into like business school some people go to law school some people will just start working in PR right away you know what I mean it's like a very broad major if that makes sense um hi can i get the venti uh, mango black tea lemonade with easy ice please venti mango black tea lemonade with light ice uh-huh okay anything else and can i get a bagel just plain warm and toasted No problem. I'm sorry, they actually still frozen. Did you? 
Do you only have what? Everything bagel and the multigrain. Oh yeah, that's totally fine. Which one? Um, the, the everything bagel is good, just just with no cream cheese or anything like that. You said no cream cheese? No cream cheese, just, just plain would be awesome. Toast toasted? It. Yeah, toasted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, anything else? Um, nope, that's it. 545, thank you. Thank you. Oh, whenever I say plain bagel, I mean like plain with no cream cheese, but they probably mean I mean like a plain bagel. I probably should clarify that, but Hi guys, so we are at the LA Lark skate rink. We're filming my first part of the uh the nice night winter night routine. The makeup looks kind of good. Oh, by the way, last time you saw me, I had no makeup, no hair. Homie got her blow out. Yeah, Homie got the make eye makeup on. And let's go ice skating. Come along. What? Noelle won't skate unless I hold her hand. I haven't fell yet, I'm surprised. But because oh it's literally knock on wood. It's not that hard. I know. I, I watch it my fall as I will say. I just either go fast or they don't go like slow. They don't really go in. It's kind of like you know, it's kind of like rollerblading. <laughs> I know, it's so cute. Like, look! We're skating. You're like in the back, like trying to, <laughs> struggling, struggling to survive. Oh, me during finals because you were. <laughs> it's so fun. You can even like spin, like really quick, like. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Sorry about that. Sorry about the aggressive like moving. It's really hard to hold. I'm holding. You're pretty, I know, you're pretty brave to vlog it. I'm vlogging and ice skating and I have my DSLR in my bag, guys. <laughs> oh. It's so cute. It's really warm out yeah, too. Yeah, it's warm. It's like, 80, it's like 70 degrees. For sure, Z's. This is such a, but this is such a vlog. It's so funny because last year, I know, right? Last year I wanted to come here, but I never Me did. too, I did. And then it Shane didn't want to go. Us. Shane didn't want to go. It was for us to go this year. <sighs> Ooh, that blue light. The blue lighting makes everyone look so good. Oh, you see that cool oh that, that's, that's, that's me after my fine. She okay? She's like, don't touch me. Honestly, Honestly truly, that's me. I would be so dramatic. Like, I mean, if I, I fell, I'd be like, Sakura! <laughs> Sakura! I think I broke everything. Oh my god. Sorry. Jingle bell, jingle bell, round. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh my head. Pick it up, beep beep, like a trucker. Nice thighs, nice waist. Thank you so much. Not a fan. Thanks. Thanks. Very venti strong. I'm a venti strong. I feel like I'm tall. Let's have a good night. Alright, guys, we got a nice mango black tea lemonade. I'm trying it for the first time. Oh my god, live taste test here. I can't get over it. I hate. Okay. I mean, sometimes they don't put enough ice. And no, then but, but, then, but then you get your money's worth. Yeah, like, you know, like, look how much. Normally, they give like you this, they like they give you this much. Right 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 if you just swirl it around, then the whole thing gets cold. I just don't like when you sip it. It's so good. Is it? It changed my life. It's about to change your life. Ooh, it's nice. Right? It's like so unique, right? Like, yes, it's very smooth, but also has like a tangy tang, lemonade flavor. Lemon and black tea. Mm -hmm. So it gives you that. You get it all. You get the, that caffeine. Four in one package. Okay, deal. so give me a full Yelp review right now. Okay, so I walk into Starbucks. There's, There's notes of um, mango. Notes. Notes of. Um, um, I'm getting some under <laughs> un underlying. Underlying mm. soft notes of black tea. It also has caffeine, which would be <clears> nice. I'm give getting. Us a little <gasps> is this little Wayne? To get you out that oh, no. Gabbana. Every single word. I actually wrote this. It's actually my song. Thank you so much for listening to us. That I got it. Got him? Is it got it? Got, got it. I do the way you move the truth. When you don't actually know the words, you're like, Okay, so when they when your college advisor asks you what you want to do after after school, so what you should tell them. Fuck shit up. Oh my god, I want to bench. I want to bench. I would look good with my friends.
Bitch, I'm a G for 100. 20s, 1500s. Bitch, I'm YG for 100. I love it. 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 I yeah, I heard you got a man, homie. Yeah. And you didn't want to lay his hands on me. But you should see the way she danced on me. Wish I had no pants on me.